my colleague has said, um, the, 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 the policies are there, but they are not, very, they are not being implemented well. Mm -hmm. If you take, for example, with the advent of technology, there's a lot of tech um, facilitated violence that's happening currently. Mm -hmm. And um, it's important for us to educate boys um, and men to be responsible in dealing with women because those are members of society. They are human beings like them. Uh, they have rights like everyone else has rights. So it's important to look at women and girls as human yes. and as part of society mm. who listen and are not necessarily supposed to be forcefully uh, forced into things. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Senator, picking up from what, you know, John is talking about, what are the, you know, far-reaching effects of GBV in terms of uh, psychological, uh, you know, physical, uh, emotional, not only to the survivors, but also to families and communities and to the country at large? And perhaps if, if you could speak about maybe even the cost to uh, government and the country in trying to, you know, manage these situations because they, they are av avoidable when you look at it. Yes, the costs are indeed far reaching and are not just in the current moment, but actually last generation. So we know, of course, that the costs, uh, the consequences of violence, whether it happens in, in physical spaces or online spaces, leaves real scars. It's physical, it's psychological, it has economic costs. We know that individuals who experience violence have negative impacts on their educational outcomes, their economic outcomes. It also affects their immediate family members. Um, the trauma and the toll that that takes on them lasts for for you know for years. Sometimes it's not a process that just you know shifts after after the incident is over. We also know that children um, who witness a parent being um, abused, so for girls, the evidence shows that they, um, if their mother is, is abused um, by a partner or they witness that or in a house where their mother is abused, that they have a greater risk um, as an adult in being in an abusive situation. And for boys who, again, are in a household where they're parents is abused, um, they may, they're at greater risk for perpetrating abuse. It is not a direct link, but it is an increased risk. And it's important that um, those risks are identified. There is a strong mm -hmm. evidence also of the links between violence mm -hmm. against children and violence against women. Mm -hmm. um, we also know that the costs um, extend to the sector, the, the state as well, because the costs of De addressing violence, the costs of bringing in the different sectors, whether it's policing or justice or social services or the health sector, all take a toll and have a significant cost compared with the investment in preventing um, violence before it begins. So the investment to have an intervention around prevention is, is has a great cost benefit compared to the costs and the investments required okay. to address the consequences, the long-standing consequences of incidents of violence. Um,